today, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. And he's not afraid to engage on the ground today. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. So does the drive. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. And they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his body. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the pull guard. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Beautiful. There it is. There it is. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cejudo. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Volkanovs. All right, side control now. Cejudo's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Cejudo's pass is denied. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, Volkanovski's pass attempt denied. He's having his way with him here. 15 seconds to go. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing 
strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Okay, stop! All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. Go out there and watch you do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize <laughs> You're funny. He's got no actions to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hand. And that's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in that half guard, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his hip on his face, dropping elbows. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his ground and pound. It is truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of fighting. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. So these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 108 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And landing with 76% accuracy against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after time. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Two minutes to go. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. Volkanovski's right back to the full mount here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nice stick with the right hand. No, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Relentless pressure from the top by Volkanovski. Oh, Volkanovski's right back to the full mount. 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you. Got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good rounds in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was really damaging the opponent. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Single collar tie now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate this. Oh! He needs to get to the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now, oh, a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotation right punch. Take it for All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. You see him put himself into the half guard. Like the control, yep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Three minutes to go in round three. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Sahuda. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Cejudo. All 
by closed guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, you gotta be working off of your back, he's certainly doing so here, nice punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change, wow, what a transition. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least now trying to trap an arm. He's a tough arm bar now. There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Maybe a late submission here. And there it is! And to get the submission that late in the fight is most impressive because you're dealing with sweat and blood and fatigue and a lot of different elements that play out over a 15 or 25 minute fight, but his technique didn't suffer, right? A lot of fighters, when they get fatigued, maybe the technique suffers a little bit. Not the case with this fighter here tonight. Locked it in and forced his opponent out of the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap-out, Alexander!